Welcome to week three of this four week beginner to intermediate leg and butt training series. Now, in case you missed the previous two weeks, I'll put the link to those workouts in the description below. And I'll be releasing a new video every Tuesday to help you build strong muscles. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of these future videos. And by the way, I'm Kim. I'm passionate about helping women over 50 build strong muscles and lose body fat. I recently turned 60 and I'm here to prove that we can build muscle and have bodies that we love at any age. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you found me. I hope you enjoy these easy to follow at home workouts. And if you do, please make sure to give the video a like, share it with a friend, and definitely leave me a comment. If you're already a subscriber to my channel and back for another workout, welcome. I'm so glad you're here today. In this series, we're focusing on building strong legs and a tight lifted butt. Now let's get to work. For our first workout this week, we're going to do the banded squat. So you can see I have a band around my legs, oh, about two inches above my knee. You can also use this type of band if this is what you have. Does not matter, you just want a little bit of resistance. You can also do this without a resistance band at all. So you pick which level of difficulty works for you. So let me get rid of that. <clears throat> you're going to stand at a nice stance where you, if you have a band, you can feel the tension on the band. So you don't want your feet too far together. The band may fall to the floor. You want to feel a nice pressure against. So keep, that will help to keep your knees open. So we don't want our knees caving inward. We want to be pressing them out. Our abs are nice and tight. Our butt is squeezed. You can do whatever you want with your hands. I always like my hands in front, kind of like we did with the, maybe the goblet squat, but you can also have them down by your side. Do what is comfortable for you. It doesn't matter. All right, so feet are nice, comfortable stands. Abs are tight, butt is squeezed, hands in front, and we're going to squat it down. Now, you're going to go down as far as is comfortable for you. Might be here, might be here. Maybe you can go all the way down. You decide. One other thing, I like to have my toes pointed slightly outward. It's a personal preference. If you want to have them straight on, that's fine too. I like mine out. All right, let's get started. Deep breath. We're going to take this down for 15. And let's go down. There's one and up. Squeezing the butt the whole time. Abs are tight. This is three, four. Five. Now, if you want even more resistance, you can hold a dumbbell here. And I believe that's seven. Stay with me here. Eight. Keep going. Nine. Ten. We're going to do five more of these. And there's four more. Three more. And our last one. Nice job. Just going to rest this out for a few seconds. Again, hit pause if you need to rest for longer. Take a nice deep breath. We always want the heart rate to start to come back down before we start the next set. Replace your feet if you need to. Make sure you have that resistance against the band if you're using a band. Abs are tight. Glute is squeezed. Let's go down for 15. Take it down. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going. There's ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two more. And last one. Nice job. Rest it out. Again, remember, if you're using that band, keep pressing against the band. Knees point outward. Don't let them cave in. All right, we're going to do that one more time. 
Abs are tight. You're going to get tired of me saying that. Squeeze the butt. Take it down. There's one. And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Butt is squeezed. Seven. Eight. Nine. There's ten. Five more. One, two, three, four. Last one. Nice job. Rest it out. Now we're going to do the pulsing squat. You can do this with a resistance band for added difficulty. You can add a dumbbell for added difficulty. Um, you choose. We're going to do it without a resistance band or dumbbell. We're going to stand very similar to the position we just did in the squat, about feet maybe are a little bit wider, toes are pointed out a little bit, that's my preference, you choose where, where you want your feet placement. I like my hands again, just holding them in front, does not matter. We're gonna go into that squat position and we are gonna hold it there with little baby pulses. Stay with me, your butt and your quads are going to burn. When you need to come out of it, just come back up, Take a deep breath. If I'm still going, come right back in and finish off with me. Let's take it down. Looks like this. Down, and we're just going to hold it here. Keep going. Squeezing your butt. Your core, your abs are nice and tight. And we're just going to pulse. Little baby pulses. Doesn't matter how far down you are. If you are up here pulsing, totally fine. You choose what works best for you. Keep going. We're going to do this for a little bit, so keep going. I know they're going to burn. It's a good thing. Keep going. Keep breathing. Little baby pulses. Nice job. Now let's come out of it. Let's rest it out for a moment. We're going to do that two more times. So if you need to hit that pause button, please do so. But please, please, please come on back and finish with us. Okay. Replace your feet if you need to. Abs are tight. Butt is squeezed. We're going to go down and we're going to pulse it. Take it down. Take it down as far as you can go and let's just baby pulses. Remember, if you need to come out of it, that's totally fine. Just take a deep breath and come right back in. Keep going. I know it's starting to burn. Do as many as you can. Keep going. Nice job, and take it out. Great job. Now, if you can keep going, keep going. You don't have to stop just because I did. All right, deep breath. We're going to do that one more time through. Are you ready? All right. Abs are tight. Butt is squeezed. Again, always keeping the knees pulled out. We don't want them caving in. Take it down. Let's, last time through, let's pulse it. Down. Keep going. You've got this. This is the last time through this one. I know they're burning. Butt is squeezed. Keep going. A few more. You've got this. Keep going. And let's take it up. <laughs> nice job. Rest it out. Next up, we're going to do a donkey kick. You may also have heard of this as a glute kickback. It's the same exercise. I'm going to do them without a resistance band. But if you're more advanced and you need to feel a little more tension, you can use either of these resistance bands. Both kinds will work just fine. This one's my preference just because it doesn't move as much on your leg. This kind does have a tendency to slide up and down your leg, but they still work. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to get on all fours. We're going to get on our forearm. We're going to pick, we're going to press the, our foot up towards the ceiling. So getting into position on all fours, take your arms all the way to the floor on your forearms. Your abs are nice and tight. I'm going to start with my right leg and I'm going to bend my knee, pressing the, my foot up towards the ceiling and right back down. We're going to do somewhere between 15 and 20. I'm going to decide as we go. Abs tight. Let's take it up. Up and squeeze and down. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep squeezing the glute. Nine. Here's 10. Let's go for 20. We can do it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. And we're going to switch sides. Other leg goes up. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Squeeze that glute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. And you can just sit it back, rest it out. Now, I know I say this over and over, hold in your core, hold in your abs. That's to protect our back. So if you're having any back issues at all, really focus on keeping that core nice and tight so that your back stays nice and flat. All right, let's take it back down. We got to do that again. We're going to do two more sets of these and we're going to do 20 in all of them. Now, if you can't do 20, that's totally fine. Stop and rest a few seconds before I do. That's fine. Do as many as you can do. All right, all the way down on your forearms, right leg, press it up. One, two, three. Remember the abs are tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Keep going. We've got 10 more. There's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more, and switch sides. Keep going. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, here's 10, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, keep going, three, two, and last one. Nice job. Stretch it out if you need to, rest for a few seconds. We gotta do that one more time. All right, let's take it down all the way to your forearms, abs are tight, squeeze your butt, right leg, foot goes up towards the ceiling, take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job. And other side, take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep going, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Rest it out. Now we're going to do the single leg glute bridge. You'll see the video up in the corner. You can do this with a straight leg. I'm going to do them with a bent knee today, so like a figure four. So let's take them all the way back. Back is on the floor. Again, I like to press my elbows into the floor. You can have them flat if that's better for you. Your abs are tight. You're pressing your lower back to the floor. 
You can't get your hands in between the floor and your back. I'm gonna cross my right leg over my left. My right foot is flexed to protect the knee. And we're gonna take it up and squeeze the butt. We're working one leg at a time. So this left hamstring and glute is really gonna feel it. We're gonna take this up for 15. Take it up. One, and squeeze. Two, pressing with your heel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do five more of these. Five, four, three, two, last one. Nice, and switch to sides. Nice figure four. Foot is flexed, pressing with your bottom heel. Take it up. One, abs are tight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job. You can lay there. You can roll up. We're going to take a really quick break. We're going to go right back down. If you need a longer break, just hit the pause. Come on back when you're ready. All right, take it down. Feet close to your butt. We're going to cross right leg over. Foot is flexed. Knee is wide. Abs are tight. Backs towards the floor. Take it up for 15. Up and squeeze. One, Two, pressing with that left heel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Keep going. Five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Nice. And switch sides. Your left foot is flexed, take it up. One, two, three, four, pressing with that right heel, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, last one, nice job. Roll it up or just stay back there and rest for a couple seconds. Deep breath and take it on back last time through. Feet close to your butt. Abs are tight. Right leg over the left. Right foot is flexed. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, here's 10, last five, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, switch sides, and up for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Five more. Keep going. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Nice job. And roll it up. And next up are our bent knee deadlifts. So you can do this with no dumbbells. You can use dumbbells. You can use a barbell. Again, pick what works best for you. So I'm gonna use two dumbbells. Bend knee down, picking up the dumbbells nice and carefully. I like my feet to be a little bit narrower than I would for the squat. So they're just directly below my hips. The dumbbells are in front with the palms of my hands facing my quads. We're going to hinge at the hips as we lower the weight down towards the floor and bending our knees. Looks like this in slow motion. I'll do it again. Hinging, bending forward, bend those knees, bring it down and come back up. You're gonna go as far 
as is comfortable for you. So you may only wanna go this far, always thinking about pushing your butt to the back of the room, abs are core, abs are tight, and then you bring it right back up. Okay, so we're gonna do 15 of these. Do as many as you can. Deep breath, abs tight, squeeze the butt, shoulders are pulled back, let's take it down. Hinging at the hip, and there's one. Here's two. Think about pressing your knees out, don't let them cave in. Three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, push that butt to the back of the room. There's eight, nine, ten. Five more. Three more, last two, one more. <laughs> and nice job, rest it out, drop your weights if you need to, take a deep breath. We're gonna do that two more times through. All right, shoulders back, abs tight, butt squeezed. Let's take it down for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, keep going, seven, eight, nine, there's ten, we're going to do five more, three more, nice, one more, Great job, and rest it out. We gotta do that one more time. All right, deep breath. Abs are tight. Pull those arms, shoulders back. Squeeze your core. Last time, down for 15. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, here's ten, five more. Three more. And last one. <sighs> nice job. Drop your weights and rest it out. And our last exercise for today is the deep squat or the nature squat. So if you have done either of the two previous videos, you already know what this is. We're, as I said before, we're gonna do this at the end of all four videos in this leg and glute series. So you'll need either a bench or a stable chair to do this on. I'm gonna show you the beginner version and then I'll also show you where, what our goal is ultimately to get to. And I am not there yet either. All right, so on the bench, and you'll probably lose me a little bit in this video, my head will probably go out of the screen, but bear with me, what you really wanna know is what's happening around this bench. So we can start in this position. You are sitting on the edge of a chair or bench. Hands are on the chair. Feet are comfortably in front of you. We're going to lift our body off the bench, take it forward, and start to lower our glutes down towards the floor. You're gonna go however far is comfortable, and then you may have to just stop right here and hold it. Now, you may want to keep your hands on the bench. Here's the options. We're gonna go down as far as is comfortable for you. Now, you can see my feet a little bit. I like to, I like to have mine angled a little bit um, pointed out to the corners because of that's where my flexibility is at this moment. If you can keep them straight forward, that's great. I am not there yet. So you're gonna go down what's comfortable. You're, you want your knees to be pressed outward. So you don't want them, I know you can't see me very well, you don't want them caving in, you want them wide. So you're going to be in this position. Your hands may be on the bench as you're starting to get better at going deeper. Once you're to a point where you're nice and low, you can take off one hand, maybe you can take off 
both hands and you're going to sit in this position. Your back is going to be as straight as it can be. Shoulders are pulled back. As you can see, I'm still a little bit wobbly. Um, this is a journey for me as well. So we're all going to go at our own pace. So let's do this. So you're going to start off sitting on your bench or chair. Your feet are probably a little wider than they will be in the future. Wider makes it just a little bit easier for me at least with your feet pointed out. Take your body off the bench. Start to lower your body, your butt directly to the floor until you're comfortable. You might have to wiggle your feet around. That's fine. Take it down and let's hold it here. Hold it here with your hands on the bench. Take your one arm off. Take both hands off and we're just going to sit here like this. If you want, you can also bring your arms together, pressing your knees outward. And let's just hold it. Keep going. Nice deep breaths. You're going to feel this in your inner thighs. And we're really trying to open up that area. So we feel just feel comfortable in a nice sit here. Again, shoulders are pulled back to the best of your ability. And if you need to have your hands on the bench, that's totally fine as well. And then when you're ready to come out, if you've taken your hands off the bench, just take them back onto the bench and lift your body up onto your bench or chair. And that is your first set. Okay, so we rested that one out. You can see I moved the bench. I want you to have another angle to be able to look at this at. So we're gonna do this one more time through. Put your hands back on the bench, lift your body onto the bench or chair. Again, feet are gonna be whatever is comfortable for you. For me, I'm still pretty wide. Um, my toes are pointed outward. Hands are on the bench. Take your butt off the bench and lower your body to the floor. Then I kind of readjust my feet to get comfortable. Now you can stay here. You can take one arm off. You can take both arms off. Again, keeping your shoulders back, your back as flat as you can. You can also put your hands in here, which I really like because it really helps to open up the hips more. And we're just going to hold it here. Looking down at the floor, abs are tight, and we're just comfortably or not so comfortably sitting here. And just sit here, hold this position. If you can get to a point where you're holding this for a minute or two, that would be awesome. I can do this for a minute or so with my feet wide. I still have not been able to bring my feet in at all, but we're all on this journey together. So keep holding. And when you're ready to come out of it, go ahead and do so. Again, if you can stay here for another minute or so, great. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and take my hands back to the bench, lift my body up, and take a nice comfortable seat. So that was our deep squat. Again, we're going to do that at the end of each of these four-week series videos so we can start to help open up our hip area, add a little more flexibility, I hope you liked that video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and definitely leave me a comment. I love your comments. If you have questions, that's great too. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future videos. I'll see you in the next video.